All right, let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to do uh, wind plot. Okay, so the first thing that you want to know is that like the first thing, um, wind plot is only for going to be for Windows. Okay, not for Mac. Uh, I have a Mac, so I can't really download wind plot. I have to use my partner's laptop. But the best thing I can do is basically screenshots and on the web on the. I'm gonna link you a description on the tutorial so you can read this more in detail later. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Okay, the first thing you do when you download Wimplot, um, okay, let's see. Sorry about that. I didn't really know how to. All right, all right. Wimplot. All right, here. The first link that you put on. All right, you're gonna download. You're gonna click this download Wimplot, and when you download Wimplot, you're gonna see this blank screen. Okay, you want to click on this window tab and you want to click on two dimensions. Okay, see two dimensions. All right, and then you should have something like this pop up. All right, not not this exactly, but you should have like a blank thing with just cross put up. Okay, uh, if you hit page down on your keyboard, it's going to zoom out and you put page down, you're going to zoom in. Okay, all right, next thing that you want to do is you want to click on this equations button. All right. See this equations button here, all right. And then you should pop something should pop out. And then you want to click the first example. I'm trying to see if we can do this. Um, implicit. All right, good. Implicit. All right. Uh, you want to click on implicit. Uh, the first thing. Okay. Then you're gonna have this. Uh, or or, yeah, it's the it's the first one. It's implicit, explicit. I forget what it is. It's it's the first one. Okay. All right here. All right, see, Ex explicit, explicit, sorry, sorry, explicit, first one, explicit, all right? Uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to see this stuff, all right? Type me a regression curve here, all right? Uh, your regression curve is going to be obtained by either you uh, graph your 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 points and you plug all that shit into like your graphing calculator or Excel, whatever, all right? You want to graph your curve here, all right? And your low x 5x don't really care about that just make sure you put in like close enough that you can see everything and then it's not exactly so you can cut off all right so whatever and you're going to get some sort of curve all right no biggie no biggie okay all right i'm going to teach you how to do cross sections first because that seems everyone seems like cross sections okay all right once you have your stuff okay so uh you're going to also you're going to all right, click on this two button, okay? Uh, let me check if it's two. Yes, it's two button, all right? Two button, all right? And then you're going to click on sections, all right? Sections. And this thing should pop up, all right? You know, if you want semicircles, obviously, you're going to click on semicircles, okay? It's going to be easy. And then your low X, your high X, that's what you're going to do, all right? Don't care about this shit. Okay, the X section, the Z section, double, don't care about it for now. If you want to play with that, go ahead and play with that, but it's not really necessary, okay? You can click on the semicircles, you're going to put it on your, your low and high, okay? If you want your volume, all you need to do is click on this volume button. That's it, all right? It'll give you the volume, whatever. If you want the actual equation, what you're going to do, you have to go on Wolfram Alpha, put it, plug that in, and then copy-paste it as an image, okay? No biggie. And then if you click on the C solid, something really cool happens, this thing pops up, okay? And then if you press X, left, right, up, or down on your on said sections, it's going to like, you know, basically uh, move and you can take it. It's really cool, okay? Yeah, you can do a whole bunch of shit. All right, make sure that you just take your cross-sectional solid, make sure it's the same thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have to be the same thing. If they don't, uh, play around with that until you get it, I suppose. It's like, this is not really exact science, so whatever, okay? All right, cool. Now we're just going to do rotations, okay? Okay, rotation. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab this, the same thing, same thing, right? No, no biggie, okay? Uh, you're going to do one, okay? Now you're going to do one, okay? You're going to click on this one, and you're going to click on uh, volume of revolution, okay? All right, and okay, volume revolution, and you should see something this pop up. Okay, this little box pop up, and now you want to click on the one function that you already typed in already to your to your ex, uh, explicit thing, my Bob, and you're gonna click on the one you want. Okay, so so, and then after that, you're gonna click on your x axis or your y axis or whatever, right? Uh, if you want, uh, I recommend x axis. It should be easy x axis. Arc start, arc stop. You just you just want to make sure that's uh. It's it adds up to two pi because you don't want you you know you want to you want to go all the way around right okay so ch -ch 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 -ch. 
All right, cool. And then what you want to do after that is don't worry about A, B, and C. That's just the line they want you to do it. If you press X axis, Y axis, it should automatically move. All right. And then if you want to see, same same thing. All right. So if you want to see, um, uh, what you call it? Okay. See, okay, if you want to see anything, you want to click see surface. Okay, uh, I know it's kind of cut off at the here, and then this should pop up, but then there should also be a volume button that you can click. Okay, so it's super easy. Like, honestly, like I can just link you this, and if you want to play around after like 10 minutes, you'll get it. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna link that in the description below on YouTube, I suppose. All right, go ahead and just Facebook me, or just actually Facebook the entire group, like if you want it. All right. Uh, if you want, if you need any help with Winplot, like I honestly think Winplot is better than Mathematica. From what I've heard, my friend, Mathematica is just complete shit. Okay. So, all right. Thanks. All right. Bye.